Grade 8 math number 9.2b, congruent properties of reflections. Translations and reflections are types of transformations. So transformations would be the big title, and translations and reflections would be subtitles underneath them. They're parts of the transformations. Reflections are like mirror images of the figure. They have the same side lengths and angle measures, and they're just not laying the same direction. Their orientation is different. Reflections maintain the size and shape of a figure, but not the orientation. A reflection is a type of transformation that flips a figure across a line, and the line is called the line of reflection. Each point and its image are the same distance from the line of reflection. And the line doesn't have to be an x or y axis. It could be anywhere, even a diagonal. So here we've got a trapezoid right here. And we can tell from these little tick marks that this is the image. This is the reflection. It flipped over. So this is the original because it doesn't have any tick marks on the letters. See that? That's how we can tell right away. So for trapezoid W, X, Y, Z, there's parallel lines. W, Z, and X, Y. See them? Well, look at the reflection. W prime, Z prime and x prime y prime are also parallel see like right here the length of side wx right here is 3.5 centimeters when i measured it and w prime x prime is 3.5 centimeters xy is four centimeters right here and x prime y prime is four centimeters yz is 3.8 centimeters right here and this is 3.8 centimeters WZ is 7.2 centimeters, and so is W prime Z prime. See? All the lengths are the same. So, not only does it have corresponding lines that are parallel, but corresponding, corresponding sides are the same. They're congruent, okay? We measured the angles for w, for w. It was 70 degrees. When I took my protractor and I measured what the angles were, hang on one second, and I measured it, it came out to 70 degrees. And X was 115, Y was 120, and Z was 55. And when I measured the reflection, they were 70, 115, 120, and 55. They were the same. When I told, totaled them up, they were 360 degrees, like they were supposed to be. See? It's a quadrilateral. So they're 360 degrees inside. They're both 360 degrees. So the corresponding angles are the same. They're congruent. The side lengths were the same. They had the same parallel lines. Their angle, angle measures were the same. Well, corresponding parallel lines, side lengths, and angle measures means both figures are congruent to each other. They're equal to each other. They just don't have the same orientation. One got flipped over. They're the same distance from the y-axis. That's the line of reflection. This one is four units away. See, x prime right here is four units away from y, but so is x. It's four units away. See? They're even the same distance. For every point, it matches the points on the reflection. See? So, those are congruent properties of reflections, and we're going to talk about graphing these in the next video. Okay? So, remember, reflection is a mirror image like these two guys over that line of reflection, and translating is sliding, like sliding on ice, okay? We haven't gotten to this guy yet. We've only done reflections and translating sliding, okay? We're going to go to 9.2c. We're going to talk about graphing these, and I'll see you there. Don't forget, I'm on patreon.com, and you can become a monthly patron, all right? Bye.